looks like nobody finished peeling my log. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> oh, well, at least you know where to start today. Yeah. We're back for another day at the bushcraft site, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, bit of a chilly one? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I put some extra layers on today. But we have to count ourselves kind of lucky because uh, this time last year, pretty sure there was already snow on the ground. Yep. And uh, right now things are looking somewhat promising. We still have a lot of work to do. So, the keen eye may have noticed this in the intro where I um, brought the old battery operated chainsaw. As most of you know, I much prefer using the hand tools. I've just something about it. But uh, we need to get that uh, back wall built up before we can continue on with the main shell of the shelter. And uh, it's going to require some fairly good sized logs, so to save a little bit of time, we brought that along. So, off to work we go. Yep. Sandra's going to play around with more peeling. Peel, peel, peel. peel. <laughs> I'm going to start uh, measuring the logs for the back wall, and we're going to try to get the, as straight uh, pieces that we can to make sure that the back wall is nice and level. We're going to try to insulate it as we go too to try to save so, us some time uh, along the way. So uh, we'll see how far we get today. Thanks again folks. Get to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right so this is the uh, the bottom end of the tree that had fallen on uh, Sanders workstation last fall. You can probably see her there she's working away. Well that tree went all the way down there. So uh, we've cut off a couple of sections already to, to work on the bottom, uh, on the back wall beams. So I'm going to clear out the logs that we've kind of, these are kind of junk logs. And then I'm going to cut this to size and then uh, Sanders, we're going to peel these as well. So. So, uh, still a hunting season, so we still have the orange vest. Um, somebody has asked before, uh, since it's a private property, why are you concerned about hunters? Uh, well, basically the way it kind of works here is uh, usually hunters have to ask permission. Um, you can uh, put up signs or indications of no hunting. Um, however, um, we have decided to try to you know, play nice with the locals, so we haven't to put up any signs saying no hunting in the area. Uh, however, um, we want to be safe while we're here, so that's why we wear these, because uh, we have seen hunters on the property before, and uh, that's why we wear them. quicker than the hand, so. Yeah. Too bad it doesn't have a throw knife attachment. Yeah. <laughs> Sander peels away of those logs. Um, these branches coming out, these stubs, they do slow things down for her for a bit. I've been trying to clear them out now that I have the chainsaw here, but it's a little bit awkward, so I'm going to try to see if the axe is any quicker. Might not be quicker, but it's a bit easier on the back, I find.
Pretty much the length we want. So we're gonna have to cut this one, but it looks like it pretty much. I want it sticking out farther than the uh, than the frame's gonna go, just so we don't kind of eliminate an air gap. So. Yeah, and I have a bit of an issue there because there's a root at the front. Huh. I think of a fix. I'm gonna go get some rocks. It used to be farmer's fields many years ago. And they used to go out and collect all the rocks by hand and by wagon. And uh, you know, in certain spots they would just drop off whatever, all the rocks they had. So all over the property, you see all these mounds of uh, stone everywhere. Which comes in handy for us. This is where we got the, the rocks for our fire pit. So I'm probably going to have to do a couple of loads of these. now for a second see how it works seems to be working lift it up against it and take, take the fatter one out here you can still use it just put yeah. it not like that but the other one yeah. okay
Alright, so we're going to uh, be adding insulation in between each beam of the back wall. So, this is a moss covered forest. The ground isn't frozen yet. Really easy to collect. So I'm going to get a whole bunch and put it in between each beam. A few branches, but deal with that. So hopefully this will not only add insulation, but add a bit of stability to the build. They don't roll as easy. Very nice. The idea, what do you think, Peter? Yeah, I know. That's a nice thick moss. Yeah. That's what we need. So hopefully it balances things out pretty well and holds. Yeah. So it uh, doesn't take too long to gather the moss, which is great. So just we have a lot to, to gather. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of logs coming up. But we're moving along. Things are going well. The benefit of the airframe is the logs we need are, need, are going to be shorter and shorter and shorter <laughs> as we go along. I'm gonna try. Oh. Wait, wait, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, it hasn't uh, been raining hard, but it's been raining steady. Uh, we're probably gonna start preparing our supper now, yep. just in case the rains get worse. Ah, well, we can only do so much. Yep. At least it's not snowing. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's plenty long enough. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna do this. We almost have to be inside, huh? Okay, sit down. Ready? Yep. Perfect. Gently. Can you fix the moss? Like, right? <laughs> you see what it means? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should work. Okay, so I've I've done another uh, loop that I've done. If you've seen our previous videos, 
uh, to attach the uh, the bipods. I believe it's called a trucker's hitch. I'm not 100% sure. I'll show it later on in a little bit more detail when we put the next log on top. But uh, this is basically just to keep it from rolling off. We're going to have other pieces that we're going to attach and keep solidifying it as we go along. So right now this is just to keep it from rolling off. I need to have it so that I have a gap that I can do a half it. So I need to pull it through a bit. There. Okay. So where the where I'm pulling through tightly through the loop there, you can see, you can barely see it here. But once I have it as tight as I want it, I basically pinch where that is, and that keeps it locked in. And I like to do twice. Okay, so it's raining a little bit more steadily, um, so we're going to take this opportunity to cook up our supper. It's a bit of a shame because we are doing good progress, uh, but uh, working in the rain can be dangerous. The logs are already getting slippery. So we're going to have our supper. Uh, we decided not to make a fire this time because Sandra collected a whole bunch of carrots uh, this uh, fall and uh, been saving it to make a nice carrot soup. Now this recipe comes to us uh, by uh, from Simon's mother, by way of Simon, she gave us this recipe. We absolutely love it, so we're going to cook it up. We don't want to cook it on the fire because we want a nice even heat so it doesn't burn. So. Here comes the soup. Alright, so here's the soup. It's actually, it's carrot ginger soup. And it's very, very delicious. I've been planting carrots just to make the soup every year now. <laughs> <laughs> lean to here yeah. <laughs> it's not raining right now but we, there was raining when we got here so it's uh, when we started cooking so it, it's really nice to have this plus it keeps us out of the wind that wind is chilly mm. we both got a little bit damp both from sweat from working and from the rain so right now we're just waiting for our carrot and ginger soup Are you ready it's smelling amazing oh wow Probably need another stir there. Yeah. oh it's gorgeous thanks a lot Simon <laughs> The recipe and say thank you to your mom. We also have some uh, fresh bread that Spinner got out of bakery. We're gonna have with our soup. Yep. It's gonna be nice and warming. Can't wait. <laughs> feeling. Yeah. We should have uh, probably should have made a fire when we got here, but we have so much work to do, and uh, the clocks have been. Uh, turn back which means the days are shorter it's gonna be dark before we know it yep. so we're not gonna be able to get as much work as I'd hope but it's it's coming together well you want to take like give me the other flat log we can each have one to put our dish on it yep that's good or whatever maybe something to put the bowls on right yep Everything's orange. It's the season <laughs> of orange. <laughs> All right. It matches our jackets. It does. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, yeah. All right. Hmm. The bowls are going to be pretty full. So, like I said, Sandra got this bread from bakery. Soup and bread. Not too much is better than that. Mmm. Wow.
Well, let me be clear. I am not a vegetable kind of person. I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of veggies. Sander knows that. But that soup is amazing. So man, what a meal, folks! That was awesome. Ah, oh, come on. Nope. So, um, yeah, the weather kind of played a, a part in today. It uh, we had to stop a few times due to the rain, so we didn't get as far as we'd hoped. We did get a lot of good work done. Center did a lot more peeling of those trees. And uh, we found that the back wall seems to be working so far. I'm going to have to work diligently to make sure that it's nice and safe and stable. But uh, yeah, it's, it's building up fairly quick. And um, the moss seems to be doing okay to make everything nice and stable. So before we go, I'm going to try to go gather a little bit more moss and cover and see if I can maybe get another layer or two of logs out there. But uh, we may have to head out. Things seem to be getting grayer and darker. So. Yeah. Well, it's going to be dark. And yeah an hour from now <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so maybe I'll get one more and uh, kind of have something to show for what we've done but uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming and how it's looking it's really really nice yep. so uh, gonna clean up and uh, maybe get that one last log a little bit of moss and we'll head on out yep I'm probably gonna finish peeling that one that I'm almost done there so cool yeah so oh I also wanted to mention for almost forgot um, Gonna be here next weekend, folks. Uh, Sandra might only be here for a little bit of it, but I'm gonna be here for at least three nights. So I'm looking at uh, four days and hopefully putting a big swing on that uh, shelter and getting it as close to done as we can. Luckily, I'm gonna have company. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, Sandra might be here for a little bit, but uh, I think my good friend Simon will be coming by. He is the hardest worker. Uh, he'll get me uh, in gear, <laughs> that's for yeah. sure. So I uh, really appreciate him coming down, so can't wait for that. Might have uh, some other people showing up too, so I hope you guys join me for that one. That's going to be a big video. Might be two, uh, but uh, this one's a little bit of a short video, but uh, still nice to have some... Yep. progress done yep so. a little bit a little bit of video is better than no video because yeah. that means you're not getting anything done. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and a little bit of progress helps as well so it's it's getting us uh it's pushing us forward which is awesome yep so all right we'll do that and uh, then hike on out I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, I believe it's a trucker's hitch. I haven't really researched it enough, but I'll have to check and confirm. But basically, you have your string here. You just do a simple loop, and then you go around, just like you're doing a knot with the loop. And there you go, that's locked in. Then I go around whatever I want to tie to, and I bring the loop around in. And once you have it pulled tight, you just pinch here where it connects and that locks it in so it can't it can't lose that tension that you built and then you just simply do a very simple hitch to, to tighten it all up so oh, it's always 
hard to do with your only one handed, but there you go. Alright, so I have it tied up to this back beam. This is not a safe way of anchoring it. It's just to, to keep it there for now. Uh, as I keep building it up, uh, I'm going to create some braces for both inside and outside. Try to keep this as stable and as safe as possible. What do you think? It's a wall. It's a wall. It's the beginning of a wall. Yeah. Yeah. It's a half wall. It's an insulated wall right off the bat yeah. too. Yeah. So. <laughs> So that's going to wrap her up, folks. Short video, but uh, really, uh, really big videos coming soon, I believe. It's all, of course, in this place, weather dependent. But mm -hmm. I'm really hoping uh, within a couple of weeks that we're going to have some uh, pretty nice videos for you guys. Thanks a lot for sticking around, and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys, and uh, see you again next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Ow! 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 Son of a... <laughs>